What is happening, everybody? This is Dave Croft, and welcome to a very special episode of the 52 Q's podcast, where it's Fright Night 2023. Oh, I am so excited. We are going to be listening to your cues, listening to your cues. We, I am so excited. We've got 19 cues that we're going to be listening to ranging from comedic to sound design to horror. And uh, man, it is going to be such a fabulous time. And uh, it is so good. We got lots of folks hanging in the chat. We've got Arco, we've got Dex, we got Mrs. Juju Beats. We've got Mika, we've got Blaznet, we've got Linda, uh, we've got uh, Dex. Did I say Dex already? We got Shannon, Mrs. 52 Qs also hanging in the chat, but it is going to be an absolutely fabulous day. I even, look at that. I even I even changed the lights to its the nice spooky lighting color and so uh, really really good really good to have everybody with us today and uh, hope you're all doing well hope you're all doing well and before we get started I'm going to put this in the YouTube chat here but the link to for voting and this isn't like a vote for your favorite kind of a thing. No, that's not that's not how we are. That's not how we're voting. We're we're voting on what do you like? What do, what do you think? Are there uh, cues that uh, you want to show some love to? And so by doing that, what we're doing it's a five star system. Five stars, and we're going to be listening. To through all of these. And so what I want you to do is as you are actively listening, if you're watching on the archive, hopefully within the next couple of days or so, pull up the link. It's at bit.ly slash 52C Fright Night. And as you're listening, give it a five stars. One to five. Five being the best, one being not my favorite. All right, and that's how I would like to do the vote. So it's, it's not which do you think is the winner? It is, which do you like? And that's how we are doing the voting. I guess technically, isn't that called like ranked choice voting? I think <laughs> it's good to see. We've got some more folks hanging out in the chat. We've got Kent, we've got Yuko, we've got Shane, we've got Van Kraken Gaming, we've got Mood Pitch, uh, we've got Carlos, we've got uh, Jerome, we've got Nigel. Oh, it is so good to see all the friends and family showing up here at 52 Qs, and uh, and so yeah. But before we get started, before we get started, I want to put on your radar coming up just this Monday for the friends and family members of 52 Qs. Uh, write, submit, forget, repeat Q and A and Q review with the Taxi Whisperer himself, Dean. Flipping Crepane is joining us for an open Q&A and Q review session. So if you want feedback from an industry pro with 20 years in the production music industry, then man, what you doing? Go submit your cues and have uh, the, the, the author of Demystifying the Cue, Demystifying the Genre, Absolutely. And if you are watching, uh, oh, uh, Jake, good to see you. And I actually have my chat. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. I can pull up some chat. Uh, Jake, man, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And if you are watching this right now on the uh, on, in the 52 Qs Mighty Networks platform, then go ahead, go over to YouTube. I think you can, you know, you can click it and 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 we're we're all having fun over here in the YouTube chat. Probably won't be able to check out the um probably won't be able to check out the other chat while we're going. There's so many moving parts already. So so yeah, Jens, really really good to see you Jens uh and Michael uh Sine. Oh man, it's so good to see all all familiar friends and family and neighbors and patrons and so we're going to have a really good day. So why don't you join us? If you're a friend or family subscriber, why don't you join us over there? And if you're not, man, we would love to have you. We would absolutely love to have you over at 52 Qs. We have three membership tiers that you can join. Uh, obviously, it's it's free to be a member of the community, take part in the weekly feedback threads. You could have your queue featured here on the 52 Qs YouTube channel and in the podcast. That is free, and that will always, that will always be free. But we also have three tiers that uh, if you are ready to uh, to kind of push in right if if you're ready to 
to, uh, to, to find out a little bit more, then join us over in the neighbor group. It's only $4.99, it's like five bucks a month or 49 bucks for an entire year, and you get access to the weekly, um, the weekly live streams. And uh, if you've not seen those, uh, that is uh, absolutely worth checking out. Let me, I'll actually uh, pull it up here so you can kind of, so you can kind of see it. Uh, the live streams have uh, archives. This is going up and we've got archives. And if you want to see in real time, a drone tension cue written or a shark week tension cue written or funky ukulele dramedy, all of these are archives that you can check out. We would love to have you. That is for our friends, subscribers, uh, our neighbor subscribers, and you get access to the Production Music Almanac, which is, uh, it's like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but for us production music composers. And friend subscription, uh, membership subscription is just 19 bucks a month or $1.99 a year. And you get all of that plus weekly Q breakdowns. You get access to our, our workshops, which feature uh, industry guests, Q reviews, and um, teaching topics along with your very own friend zone chat, and then the nuclear option, the 52Qs family. For folks who are seriously ready to push into a real sustainable career in production music, then join us. As a 52Qs family member, you get all of that, plus weekly Zoom feedback, uh, Zoom feedback sessions, weekly Zoom office hours. You get access to the briefing room, which is uh, folks writing real cues for real for real placement in libraries. We just had uh, two students who wrote for the briefing room from this past summer who is, al they've already made air. They've already gotten air on the NFL on CBS. So, and so if you're wanting, if you're, if you're ready, if you're now, now don't, I mean, you can join the family if you want and then never do anything. But if you're really seriously ready to, to kickstart your career and push into sustainable output, then join us over in the family group. Uh, we would absolutely, absolutely love to have you. Got lots of folks hanging out in the chat. Uh, good to see Rolf, man. Good to see Ralph. Good to see Simon. Good to see Gary. Welcome, Gary. Uh, good to see uh, some full sale folks chilling out and hanging. Uh, did, I, did I get everybody? Uh, Linda? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great afternoon. So what we are doing is we are going to, to check out each of the types of cues. And we have three categories that we are writing to, okay? So we are writing comedic tension, which is kind of dramedy. So we're gonna start at light and then uh, create creative and sound design cues. And then finally, the horror tension cues. And anybody who knows me, and Shannon, Mrs. 52 Qs can, can attest to this. I'm a big fat chicken and, uh, and I get freaked out really easily. <laughs> so, so if you see me turn on all of the lights, all of a sudden it's because I got really uh, freaked out, right? I got really freaked out. <laughs> uh, that's happened more than once. Absolutely. So, uh, I, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about what happens, but we're going to start nice and easy. We're going to start it nice and easy with our comedic tension category. And again, if you haven't already, we're going to put this chat there, uh, link there in the chat. If you've not already, pull up your scorecard and get ready to listen to the cues. And we are first starting out with Ralph Oleski. Ralph Oleski uh, says, this is an older cue that was always meant for Halloween. Just have it hanging around, modeled a little bit from Danny Elfman. So let's take a listen to Dancing Bones.
right, that was Ralph Oleski with Dancing Bones. Oh, man, Ralph, thank you so much for sending that along. And if that's something, if you dig it, why don't you hit over to the scorecard? Let me let me actually pull that up here. Uh, the scorecard and uh, of, a, of a one, one through five. Entirely up to you. What does five mean? Well, that means I love it. Oh, my gosh, that was mind-blowing. What does one mean? That man, uh, maybe not a fan which is, you know, totally okay. It's totally okay. All right, so next up, we have Demented Waltz. Waltz from from Patrick Pinnock. There's always wanted to do a Waltz-style Halloween track and thought, why not for this contest? Took a while to get the mix right while deciding which instruments to push forward and which were going to play a more background role. Once the mix was done, mastering was quite straightforward. Hope you enjoy. So here is... Demented Waltz. That was uh, Patrick. Thank you so much. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Oops, oops, oops. Oh man. I'm, yeah. That knock. That door knock. That, that that got to me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That 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 got to me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you mad mad about you says uh, mad about nothing says it's only gonna get worse. It really. Is. This is the funny stuff. Okay. All right. I can do it. Shannon, will you come up and hold me if I get too scared? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, it, by the way, it's really good to see. We got some new folks hanging out in the chat. Ralph O, really, really good to see you. And uh, Mad About Nothing, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So that was Demented Waltz. All right. Next up, we have Sleep Unwisely from Alan Moore. Alan says, written for Halloween last year and based around the bass clarinet, which gives the piece a slight quirky comedic nature, I think. An insistent snare drum gives a march-like feel. The obligatory spooky oohs and ahs arrive towards the end. All right, so we're going to take a listen to Sleep Unwisely.
All right, that was Alan Moore with Sleep Unwisely. Alan, thank you so much for sending that along. We had a question in the chat. Is it a problem if I put everything as a five? Well, uh, Shannon, Mrs. 52Q says, well, we'll just have a 15-way tie or a 19-way tie. <laughs> and you can, you know, you can uh, change these, you know, kind of after the fact. So yeah, these have all been absolutely fantastic, which is why I'm glad that I'm not voting on these because... I don't know if I could do that, but really, really well done. Thank you so much, Alan, for sending that along. Next up, we have Nathan with Bone Saw Lullaby. Nathan says, I was originally going for an Adams Family kind of vibe with harpsichord and theremin and planned to somehow incorporate trombone. Once I landed on the Bone Saw Lullaby title, it became apparent I needed to add a power saw because as we know, Trombone plus power saw equals lullaby, obviously. All right, so here is uh, Nathan Toft with Bone Saw Lullaby. That was Bone Saw Lullaby from Nathan. Nathan, thank you so much for sending that along. Uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, who, who knew? Who knew Power Saw was such a, a powerful voice in, 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 dra in dramedy? But really do appreciate it. All right, next up, we have Enrico. Enrico, who I know is hanging out in the chat, the purveyor of all things Italian coffee. I got to tell you, Enrico, I need to, uh, I need to up my Lavazza. I, I, I'm out. So I had to dip into my Starbucks. And I'm like, oh, this is not... Italian coffee, but it's really good to have you with us. This is Haunted Ska Review. And Enrico says, an attempt at circus macabre that is not in 3-4 or 2-4, and yes, an excuse to dig deep in my libraries for Halloween capers. So here is Haunted Ska Review. <laughs>
right, that was Enrico with Haunted Scar Review. Enrico, thank you so much for sending that along. Yeah, that was that was a ton of fun, man. That was a ton of fun. And uh, good to see some new folks hanging out in the chat. Uh, good to see you. What is good? We got Jeff LaPlante. I don't think I gave you a shout out. Boost a Kid, really good to see you. Thank you so, so much. And uh, Van Kraken Gaming says, my mom played the accordion. Well, that's awesome. I, I, I had a gig a couple of weekends ago. And they used an electric accordion. I didn't know that. Roland makes accordions, electric accordions, like they make electronic drum sets. Great. <laughs> so thank you once again for sending that along. Next up, we have Mikhail Pasolaj, who since sent along Cemetery Circus. He says, this was the first time I've been making a cue of this genre. I think it's not very scary in the end, more like a music for sad bear circus show. Oh man, that story got sad. I used to, uh, I, I used to that uh, for the title at least. All right, so let's take a listen. This is a Cemetery Circus. Off we go. Right. That was Cemetery Circus from Mikhail. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. That that slow guiro, like my right ear really enjoyed that. That was so good. Great title too. Really, really nice. Nice work. I tell you, you guys, you guys voting, you have your work cut out for you. I'm going to go ahead and put that link once again in the chat. Bit.ly slash 52C Fright Night. 52 Q's Fright Night or 52C Fright Night would... Why don't you go um, go vote? Go vote, man. Voting is going to be open. Uh, Mrs. 52 Qs, how long is voting open? I think until uh, until tomorrow, I think. I think we're going to have voting up until tomorrow. Yep. Arco says everything's a five. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Everything is a five. All right. Then finally, rounding up the comedic tension, we have Linda Britton and says, Linda says, I had a strong image in my mind before starting this piece, and I wanted to use a good combination of contrasting sounds, including strings, woodwind, harpsichord, organ, and voices, as well as some opening sound design to set the atmosphere of a castle. The newlywed couple are invited to tea with the Count, a vampiric host who loves to entertain new visitors with tea and his harpsichord skills. The unsuspecting guests arrive and are ushered into a large resonant drawing room, the door of which slams noisily behind them. The Count echoes the chimes, catching the strings of the harpsichord with his long, black, and brittle fingernails. With a flick of his coattails, he sits and begins to play. The guests become entranced, beguiled by the innocent yet all-consuming resonances. Here is Tea with the Count. Thank you. 
That was T with the count from Linda. Linda, thank you so much for sending that along. Really, really do appreciate you. So that is the comedic tension. So get to voting right now. Get to voting right now. And if you want to maybe bookmark this and watch the archive a little bit later so you can kind of back things up and listen again, yeah, would love to have you vote in the comedic tension category. Yeah, again, that's good luck, voters. (laughs) Good luck, voters. Next up, we have the creative sound design category. Creative sound design. Now, these are these are cues that aren't necessarily super scary, not necessarily super funny, but creative use of sound design elements going in, getting your hands dirty, not just off-the-shelf sounds. That's what we are doing here in the creative sound design category. And first up, we have Mr. Alan Moore with Unsettled. Ambient, unsettling instrumental cue. The music starts off uh, out with an ethereal ambient mood and transitions into an unsettling mood as it progresses. Here is Unsettled. That was Unsettled by Alan Moore. Alan, thank you so much for sending that along for, yeah, so, so many interesting textures and everything going on with that one. Next up, we have Enrico with Haunting Lamentations Boutique. He says, a collection of what were originally pretty sound recordings I made mangled through the darker, deeper recesses of Reason's sonic arsenal. To deliver a rather unpleasant experience, one hopes, 10 points for each correctly identified original sample. (laughs) This is Haunting Lamentations Boutique. Thank you. 
That was Haunting Lamentations Boutique from Enrico. Whoop, and now for something freaking SoundCloud. Oh, that last little piano bit. Nope, that, that wasn't part of it. But wow, really amazing job. Really amazing job. All right, next up, <laughs> we have 52 Ghouls from Dex. He says, I started off trying all three types of cue, ellipses, sound design, orchestral, and comedy tension, but decided to try one that might work as an introduction piece and used all the tracks I was developing. So I think it fits in the creative category, but I'm not the judge. No, you are the judge. to Fright Night. Did you go sound design, orchestral, or comedy? Or all three? I mean, sound design is pretty cool. Hello? Of course, some people find that a bit scary and go orchestral. Or keep it fun with comedy. That was 52 ghouls from Dex. Oh, man, Dex, I appreciate you, my man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it's been really great hanging with Dex. It was in the mastermind this past. Uh, yeah, uh, Enrico wants to know, where, where, why isn't there a six? <laughs> really appreciate you, Dex. Thank you so much. All right, now, finally, we have Mike Sine with cate Catechisms, Questions and Answers. Calls and response from the beyond. A bit of old school and a bunch of new ghoul. Happy Halloween. This is Catechisms. That was Catechisms from Mike. Mike, really, really appreciate you, man. Uh, <laughs> Linda, Jason, X meets the exorcist. Uh, yeah. And uh, Mike, is that in the wrong category? If you will uh, reach out to Shannon, 
uh, if that's in the wrong category, but uh, but it was submitted during that. Uh, yeah, I, I was not. I, I, I'm worried, guys. I'm worried. I'm straight up worried. <laughs> but why don't you head over and vote? Vote for the Q. And, and again, you're not voting for the best on a grade of one to five. And this is, these are anonymous, right? A grade of one of five. Five being, yes, this was 100%, loved it, yes, yes, yes. One being, ah, not a fan or whatever. You don't owe anybody an explanation. It's just how you feel. It's all good. Got some, uh, it's not first past the post. It is ranked choice. And so that's what we are doing here today. That's what we're doing here today. Ranked choice voting. So next up, we have, oh man, I'm worried. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I am worried about this because now... Playtime's over. Playtime is over, and now we're into the really scary stuff. Scary stuff. Tension and horror. <laughs> uh, I might have to turn on the lights. <laughs> First up, we have Alan. Alan says, this is a pulsing tension type cue that seems appropriate for Halloween. Initially, it was a taxi rejection. Aw. But following lots of help from the 52 Qs community, it got several forwards. Yay! I struggle with the notion of what makes a contemporary synth sound. Synths used on the track are Yuhi Zebra, Zebra Native Instruments, Stray Light, Omnisphere, and some Spitfire audio stuff. In the end, Taxi liked the development and the dark synth sounds. So here is No Angel by Alan Moore. Right, that was No Angel from Alan. Thank you so much for sending that along. I got I got to tell you, I was a little worried, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm okay. Some uh, really, really, really nice job there. All right, next up, we have Gun Brit. Gun Brit, I hope that you are doing well. She says, my inspiration was actually the uh, Caramelite Sisters' Fate in the Opera by Francis Polanc. Don't know why, it just came. So here is... Last Sisters.
That was Last Sister from Gun Brit. Thank you so much for sending that along. Yeah, he's again, I I I did okay. I did all right. That was more, you know, that was less Jason Exorcist and more like the sixth sense, which I'm okay with, even though like that's kind of my my threshold of scary. I really am a big chicken. I'm I'm a little worried about this one. Uh, this next one is from the Donnie Wayne Smith. This is Rosemary Clooney's baby. <laughs> Donnie says, I wanted to write an opening title sequence for a horror movie. Still learning Cubase MIDI and BBCSO, I know I now know exactly what my Mac limits are. What you hear is all my Mac would allow me to do without rendering. Uh, I heard more in my head, but figured I needed to stop somewhere. Also, I decided not to write to a click. Ooh, bold move, Cotton. I wanted it to be more free-flowing. was more of a headache than I anticipated. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is Ro Rosemary Clooney's Baby. That was Rosemary Clooney's baby from Donnie Wayne Smith. Donnie, thank you so much for sending that along. Really, man, that was some really stellar programming in there. Appreciate you sending that along. Next up, we have Wicked Riots from Omar. Omar says, this is a Halloween hybrid orchestral hip hop. All right, this is Wicked Riots. Thank you. 
Man, I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to go that hard. Omar. <laughs> Omar gets Dave's WTF award of the night. Dang. Of course, the night isn't over yet. Omar, that was stellar. Really, really do appreciate me. You got me stink facing, man. Involuntary stink face. Really, really nice work. Next up, we have a horror zombie tension cue from Ilya. Ilya, what's good, my man? Hope you're doing well. He says, just don't get bit. That was Just Don't Get Bit from Ilya. Ilya, thank you so much for sending that along, man. Really, really appreciate you. I, I don't know how you guys are going to vote. <laughs> maybe, Shannon, maybe we might have a 19-way tie. Uh, these are all absolutely stellar. Absolutely. Absolutely stellar. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting worried. Donnie is in the house. Really good to see you. Really good to see you. Uh, see, did I miss anybody else that came in the chat? Uh Elisa, really good to see you as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Next up, we have Jerome, who I think was in the chat. Dex says the bitey thing is behind me. I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried. I'm not going to lie. I'm worried. Although I've, I've been better than I thought. I've been in some, some feedback sessions and like during the mastermind. I'm looking at you, George, if you're watching this, uh, and Mike. Man, some things that really just messed with my head, like legitimately... Like hair on the back of my neck. Yes, I have hair on the back of my neck. Standing up. Yep. But next up, we have Unseen Dangers from Jerome. A dark atmospheric orchestral hybrid soundscape featuring strings, synthesizers, percussion, and effects. This is Unseen Dangers.
man, that, that one that one got me. That one got me. It's it's the it's the banshee screaming. The and because I'm in headphones, it's like right, they're right there. The ghosts are right there in my ear ear cup. I uh, really appreciate you, Jerome, man. Really, that way that one got me. That one got me good. All right, uh, next up we have uh oh, eerie whispers within. This is Enrico. Enrico says, Dave, if you're playing this, you are scraping the bottom of the barrel. But hey, I'm happy. Scared. Tense. Oh, I'm worried, man. I'm worried. That was Eerie Whispers Within from Enrico. Enrico, thank you so much. <laughs> Woo, these are getting me, man. I ain't gonna lie. These last couple have got me. <laughs> it's it's the sound design stuff that's really super close, you know? Yeah, yeah, you guys got me. All right, next up, and I think this is our last one. I can't believe this is our last one. This is, yeah, Mad About Nothing says he hates the marble. Yeah, that Omnisphere kind of dripping marble thing. And it's like, it's right there. It's like right in my ear. So freaking creepy, man. So freaking creepy. But I think, I think Omar is going to, is going to round up the night, round off the night with a uh, haunted pumpkin waltz. He says, this is a fantasy orchestra Halloween cue. So here is haunted pumpkin waltz.
Omar, Omar with the the vocals. Uh, Omar, hit hit me up, hit me up in the chat over on Fifty Two Qs. I would love to know what what a vocal, what vocal library, or is that an actual human being? Because that was absolutely stellar. So voting is open. Please head over to bit.ly slash 52C Fright Night and voting. It is not, uh, it's not vote for the best. It's just give each one the stars. So, so one star being, uh, not really crazy about it. Five stars being yes. All right. And, uh, and that's, it's, that scale is entirely up to you. You can vote on the comedic tension on the creative sound design or the horror and tension. So, but that was absolutely stellar. Really, really do appreciate everybody for sending everything along. And and if you enjoyed all of this, and if you like what we got going on here at 52 Qs, we would love to have you join us. You can join the community for free. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello, YouTube folks. We'd love to have you join us. It's free to join, but if you're really ready to start pushing into your actual career in production and library music, then why don't you join us? You can join starting at just five bucks a month, all the way up to, to steady, consistent, weekly Zoom feedback sessions and everything in between. Head over to 52Qs.com for more information. We would love to have you. Also, whoops, that is the wrong one. Also, um, keep in mind for our family and friends subs, uh, membership subscribers, uh, we have our Q review session for, with Dean Crepane. Yes, that Dean Crepane, the guy whose book you probably have on your Kindle or in your bookshelf. Dean is going to be joining us this Monday coming up to answer your questions. He is the taxi whisperer and uh, would absolutely love love to have you with us but that is going to do it for me thank you so much thanks to everybody in the chat oh omar is in the chat and he says that is the voxos library yep uh enrico says uh, i can't find the button for 12 for 12 uh thank you guys so much really really do appreciate you but that is going to do it for me thank you so much and more more composer quests are on the way. Yes, if you have an idea for a composer quest, let us know, but we're going to keep doing this. It's a really good idea and a huge, huge shout out to Mrs. 52 Qs. All this artwork, this this lovely artwork, that that's her. That is Myth, Mrs. 52 Qs. She's the one who who does all. If you like the the logos and everything, that is that's her, man. That all that business that is straight up Mrs. 52 Qs, and uh, she is my absolute better half. So thank you so much. And thanks to everybody who submitted. And uh, we will be announcing prizes next week. And so that's going to do it for me. Until next time, remember, friends, that the universe has amazing plans just for you. Until next time, peace. The 52 Cues podcast is copyright 2023 at 18 Studios, all rights reserved. The music played on the podcast is copyright of their respective owners and is used with permission and for educational purposes only. For more information, including joining the community and submitting your cue for consideration on the podcast, head over to 52Qs.com.